The skills section on your LinkedIn profile is incredibly important for both being found by recruiters, hiring managers, or clients, as well as really taking ownership for your proficiencies. In this video, I'm going to show you why you want to make use of LinkedIn's pinned skills feature and how to do it. If you've ever paid attention to your LinkedIn skills section, you would have noticed that your top three most endorsed skills are given the most prominence. Sometimes this works in your favor if the skills are what you want to be known for, but oftentimes this doesn't work. As you can see in my profile, my top three skills are public speaking, leadership, and management. Public speaking is a skill that I want to be known for because I love to give talks and seminars, but being good at leadership and management, in my case, so what? That's not what the people I want to attract on my LinkedIn, who are my future clients, need from me. They don't really care that I can lead. They care that I can deliver. And what do I deliver? Outstanding resumes and LinkedIn profiles. So what would make more sense is if I included skills for which I want to be found by my prospective resume writing and LinkedIn consulting clients. So let's see if we can find some better skills. Let's go into edit mode in our skill section by clicking on the blue pencil icon. So as I scroll through my skills, I'm looking for better matches for the skills I want to give prominence to. And sure enough, I can find resume writing in my industry knowledge section, as well as LinkedIn in my other skill section. So now that I've found those skills and I want to move them up to the top, I need to pin them. In order to do that, I need to unpin the skills that I don't want showing at the top. We've already identified this leadership and management. Now that's freed up two spots for pin skills for me. And so what I need to do is put the pin on for resume writing and put the pin on for LinkedIn. And then I hit save. And here we go. Now I've got public speaking, resume writing, and LinkedIn in my top three most prominent skills. Doing this on the mobile app is just as easy. You scroll down to your skills section and then you tap on the blue pencil icon. We have one more step in the mobile app. We actually have to tap on edit and then that will bring up our skills into edit mode. So again, I'm getting rid of leadership and management. So I unpin leadership, unpin management, and then I pin resume writing and I pin LinkedIn. And then I tap save. And as you can see, my profile skill section is now updated with my top three skills. So how do you know which skills to select to include in your top three skills? First, you need to get really clear on what you want to be known for. Are you job searching? What are the top skills needed for your target job that you have and can offer? Or are you trying to attract clients? What is your expertise? In addition to this, you'll want to have some variety amongst these top three skills. Let's say you're targeting customer service jobs. Selecting the skills customer service, client service, and account service is overkill. Maybe you want to move into leadership and account management. So the other two skills could be that, account management and team leadership. You only want to pick one variation of your top skills. Finally, you want to be certain that the skills that you're pinning in your top three skills are skills that are searchable. Including something like exceptional customer service is not particularly searchable. It's unlikely that a recruiter or a hiring manager is going to be adding exceptional to customer service when they're searching it. Tell me in the comments below what you're struggling with when it comes to your LinkedIn profile. I may make a video just for you. And because algorithms, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram.